I'm Danielle. Welcome to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today we're talking with Mr. E.G. McLaughlin, the president of United Community Bank right here in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Now, before the bank was here, this building was actually a hotel. And Mr. McLaughlin's going to tell us all about it. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to talk with us, E.G. Well, Danielle, thank you for coming down to do the interview. We're, we're proud of our Lawrenceburg and the uh, community uh, uh, heritage of United Community Bank. But let's do talk a little bit about the uh, Jesse Hunt House is mm -hmm. how it was known. Mm -hmm. uh, the Jesse Hunt House was the first three-story brick building okay. in the state of Indiana. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Hunt uh, built the building, they're saying 1818, 18, 18, 19 in that, mm -hmm. that time uh, period. And uh, we always read in, in historical, uh, uh, historical information that we have mm -hmm. that, um, that people wonder, he was building this three-story building and mm -hmm. they said nobody would want to sleep three <laughs> stories above the street level. So as, as we were talking earlier, it's kind of mm -hmm. interesting. We have the big high-rise hotels now. Right. So uh, Mr. Hunt was a visionary as mm -hmm. far as that goes. Now, walking through some of the halls, we've seen a lot of this building. It is absolutely beautiful. I know it took about a year to renovate, but there are still some pieces right here in this building that were still the same back then. So there's the stairwell, and there's also these beautiful arches that are in this building. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I, I can, I mm -hmm. can. When we bought the, uh, the building from Historic Landmarks, mm -hmm. um, and, and they were great to work with as mm -hmm. we bought it, we were not allowed to touch anything on the outside of the building. Mm -hmm. On the inside of the building, we could do as much as we wanted Mm -hmm. except for the stairwells right. and the stairs themselves. Mm -hmm. So uh, as you look at the stairs, you can see as we walked up the stairs, mm -hmm. you see they're, they're a lot more narrow than what you see today. Yeah. So you can tell people were probably smaller back yeah. then and that's why they were uh, the, the steps are more narrow than what, what we're used to. Mm -hmm. um, so that was um, uh, you know, another part of, of the historic part of it. Mm -hmm. um, so we were allowed to carpet them, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that that's worked out well. Mm -hmm. And then the arches, which are here also, those yes, are really nice. The, the arches, and as you look at it when uh, the, in the other part of the building, there's some arches and, and they're just beautiful they are. and stuff. We weren't allowed, we were allowed to put some wood, mm -hmm. uh, uh, finish to them and and now they they stand out even even more but mm -hmm. they they add a, a lot of character to to that particular area mm -hmm. of the bank and one of the other things that I noticed was right where we're outside where we're parked now yes there weren't steps at that particular site right when Correct. when back then so tell us a little bit about that well it, it's interesting if you would go down to the basement of the Jesse mm -hmm. Hunt house mm -hmm. um, you see windows that used to be the first floor the basement level mm -hmm. did uh, but the city uh, and we hear it was raised maybe 10 to 12 feet mm -hmm. uh, just as you came up Walnut Street and mm -hmm. crossed over the railroad tracks mm -hmm. those tracks used to be above you know, ground level, right. and now they're they're even with the ground level. Wow! So, and even like the building where we are right now, it's a beautiful part of town. This is absolutely gorgeous down here with all of the historic buildings, and we're right here off of the river. And there's some new developments right behind this building. You mentioned to us that the Hunt House or the Hunt Hotel was probably one of the first buildings to be renovated down here and, and you know from that maybe inspired some of the other places around here to do the same. We, 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 we think it did. Uh, when uh, Bill Ritzman and myself brought our board members down we mm -hmm. always like to tell uh, this story mm -hmm. uh, and, and again the the inside of the the Jesse Hunt house was, mm -hmm. was dilapidated. It had been used for 20 or 25 right. years. Uh, so there was nothing, it was wide open, uh, no office spaces, uh, most of the hotel rooms had been, the walls had been torn down. Mm -hmm. uh, but we always, uh, Bill and I always remember when the board members, uh, we brought them down, mm -hmm. uh, they very kindly said to Bill and myself, 
what the heck are you two guys <laughs> thinking? But again, the board had the vision, the board members had the vision mm -hmm. to say, hey, yeah, this could be a great corporate headquarters. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was it was great. We, we bought the, uh, the building from Historic Landmarks, mm -hmm. and then the city of Lawrenceburg bought one of our other buildings, mm -hmm. And, uh, and so you said historic landmarks were they were great to work they, with. They 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 were great to, to work with, and the right. city of Lawrenceburg is always is is great to work with. Yeah. So it was a win win win. The city of Lawrenceburg got a new uh, offices mm -hmm. for for the the city building. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got this beautiful historic facility now, mm -hmm. and the historic landmarks were able was able to sell the the building. And there were probably weren't too many people that would have had the resources as United Community Bank yeah. did to uh, to to be able to make the improvements and stuff. And you know, again, uh, the uh, the the lady Mary Eubank that designed mm -hmm. the uh, the building and Maxwell Construction just did a tremendous job with this building. Now let's talk a little about the bank. So okay. we're at I, the, I love to talk about the bank. So. I know. And so <laughs> we're at the United Community Bank, and you mentioned to me that there are eight branches yes. throughout Indiana yes. for the bank. Um, but what makes this bank so special? You know, what, what makes it so special? And again, let me give you a little history mm -hmm. of United Community Bank. Mm -hmm. United Community Bank was a merger of two local banks. Uh, Perpetual Federal Savings Loan and mm -hmm. Progressive Federal Savings Bank. Mm -hmm. And that was back in April of 1999. Okay. Um, two longtime community banks. Mm -hmm. And when we, we merged, uh, one of the things we thought of we, uh, with the new name was we all agreed, all the board members agreed, we wanted that community in the name. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the community is very special to us, wherever we are, whether it's in, in Milan or mm -hmm. on State Line Road or in Aurora or St. Leon or mm -hmm. Osgood or Versailles, mm -hmm. uh, we're very involved in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, we hire people from the community mm -hmm. and, uh, and we give back to the community, mm -hmm. especially the schools. The schools are, are very important to everybody in the community. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're very proud of that. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things uh, when the uh, when we did the merger back in 1999, mm -hmm. that the board members wanted to emphasize that this is a community bank, mm -hmm. and you have to be proud. I mean, you're turning right back around and you're investing dollars, energy, and effort right back into your community. So I love the fact that you do that. So kudos to you and your team and everyone that's a part of the bank. Well, th thank you, Danielle, and and that goes from uh, the, uh, the, the board members down to the, the CSRs, everybody in the bank is, is involved with the community. And, and that's just what makes United Community Bank such an important part of the community. That is absolutely wonderful. Well, Mr. McLaughlin, we won't take up too much more of your time, but we're so grateful to you for taking time out of your busy day to talk with us and educate us about the Hunt Hotel and United Community Bank. So thank you. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> we really appreciate okay. it. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today we spent time talking with Mr. E.G. McLaughlin about the former Hunt House, which is now United Community Bank, right here in beautiful Lawrenceburg, Indiana. We hope you enjoyed learning all about it. Remember, travel slowly and stop often. We'll see you next time.